What's going on game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and in today's video we're going to be starting a series of building a 2D tower defense game from scratch. Now we're going to be using Unity for this and we'll probably be using Unity I believe 20, 21.3.11. Now hopefully this should work for a long time because this is an LTS release version but if there's any issues please let me know and I'll try and help you fix them. So let's actually just start off the project by going into a new project and we're going to select 2D URP because we we're going to be using the universal render pipeline for its beautifulness. Yep, that's a word. And let's uh, start off by just calling this 2D tower defense tutorial. Something like that should work. There's good. That'll work. Let's just create project. Now this is going to create us a project which should open up. There we go. And once this is loaded, I will see you on the other side. Okay, guys. So the it's finally loaded up and we are ready to start our project. Now the first thing we want to do is create some tiles for our game where we're going to be able to place our towers. We also want to create a path in this uh, set of uh, blocks or should I say uh, places to build. Um, which will allow us our enemies to path find their way through so let's start off by creating an empty game object and i'm just going to call this the plots now we're going to have plots for our buildings and inside plots we are going to create a 2d sprite square which we are going to call a singular plot now the singular plot is going to be the singular plot which we have for our um Elements, these are going to be the ones we click to drop a turret down on top of. Now, we need multiple of these uh, plots, and I'm going to say we're probably going to need these at about 0.5, maybe 0.75. Let's make these 0.8 of a size, and then what we can do is go to our camera, and obviously you can see here, what we want to do is, well, let's just make this a darker screen for now. Let's go right down to, like, 212121, something real dark, something you know so the white stands out then what we want to do is go to projection and let's put the size up to maybe eight uh, if we go to game view we'll be able to see each tile there's probably a bit too big seven six i tell you what let's start with six and we can get we can make it bigger than there um, and then on this plot we need a couple of items we just want a uh box collider 2d now this is going to be the box we click to actually um well, to actually activate the tile. Now, once we have this plot, what we're going to do is we're going to want to create a couple of files. I'm going to create a folder called this art. Then inside of art, we are going to have another folder called prefabs. And we are going to drag our plot into the prefab section because we want multiple prefabs. So if we change it once, it will change across everything. Now, we want to duplicate this plot. So I'm going to duplicate one, pull it to the left, duplicate one, pull it to the right. We're going to bring some up here. And I'm holding control and dragging these arrows, which is selected here, to move them along. Now, I can highlight these, duplicate these, and bring them down. Now, we want to make sure this stays as a, um, as a grid. So, we'll select all of these, duplicate them over here, duplicate them again, and bring them over here. Then I can just select all of them. And you just want to keep doing this until you have a nice grid of elements that you can click on screen okay i think this grid is good enough now we could make this a lot bigger or a lot smaller and then we could also add in later on we're going to add in the ability to move the camera and pan it around so if we had a really large grid then we can actually mess around with it but i think this this shape works for now we could probably make it even smaller but the next thing we want to do is actually create a path for our enemies to take now i want them to start dead at the top coming down to start for this one so we're going to just to start deleting some elements here and basically go around and create a cool sort of curvy path the enemies can take in order to get to a finish point which i'm not sure where it's going to be we will find out as we go and there you go that's the path we're going to take for this one you can mess around with this and make this however you want you can even make loads of different levels of this and just create a bunch of different ones so you can see our enemies are going to start from somewhere above here come into this and follow this path all the way around until it gets to the end here so you can see it's quite a lengthy path giving you a lot of options and a lot of thought process into where you want to place your turret um, it also spans quite a lot of the area here and in fact i think i'm going to duplicate these ones and block this off 
and I'm going to bring this just a couple more down here like that just to give you that sort of more of a curvy feeling going around here. Now we are going to although we've got our plots all in place we need to actually define the path for the enemy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, a new game object and I'm just going to call this path and I'm just going to rename the, or reset the transform to be the center um, and then inside of here we are going to create empty objects which are we're going to just call points now these points we don't have to make them into a prefab um, but it would be pretty good if we have them um, in here in the center area so what we're going to do is you can see we have one here now we can actually give this some sort of icon i'm going to give it a little orange icon here and you can now see that in the scene what we want to do is actually put this at every single turning point in the game because we can make the enemies move straight from one point to the next but once it's this one we need to tell it to then go straight in a different direction and that's where these points come in so you can see here we're just moving it to the turning point in each section and this will essentially be the path our enemies will take so we can go all the way through oh bring this over oh bring this over here down here and finally the last point will be somewhere out here let's just pull it actually let's just pull it at the end here right on the outside now what this is going to do well what we need to do with these is what we we want to create in one more so let's just duplicate this point and bring it up to the top here let's just have a look in game view okay now we've got our camera back we can actually kind of see where the bounds are for now and what we want to do is i'm going to rename this one to starting point and let's just bring this to the start and this is going to be our start now we can rename this last one here just to end point um which is fine actually let's make the naming convention similar and i'm just going to call this start point now these don't naming renaming these to start point and end point hasn't got a massive effect but it will help you find which one is which when you're trying to drag these into uh, different slots and there you go you can see that we have these paths now i'm just going to give this one maybe a green icon and the end point a red icon just so you can see the difference on screen there now that's going to be it for this tutorial now i know we've actually done nothing but set up some sort of grid but i promise you this is going to turn into a 2d tower defense game in the next episode we're going to create an enemy which will follow our path and actually make his way all the way to the end and destroy himself and at that point we will obviously start taking damage from the enemies making it to the end and obviously if let's say 10 enemies make it to the end we will die but we are basically going to just set up our first enemy which will follow these paths in the next episode so don't forget to tune in keep your eyes peeled for that video but for now guys don't forget to leave a thumbs up it really helps the channel out smash that subscribe button if you're new around here and i will see you in the next one peace out